what is the difference between local storage and session storage local storage and session storage both are browser storage uh, local storage data persists until it is deleted manually whereas session storage data uh, gets deleted whenever the user uh, deletes i mean not deletes uh, closes the tab local storage is also called local storage for your browsers it can save up to 10 mb of data on the other hand session storage can also do the same thing it can store 10 mb of data uh but it's it's you know session based as it the name suggests it is session based and it will be deleted after uh, closing your browser and uh, why is react so popular uh, there are so many reasons of react popularity the first and foremost is it uses the virtual dom uh, so whenever the uh, data changes in the ui it actually compares the data and uh, it only updates the part of api uh, part of ui which actually reads to update entire uh, instead of uh, re-rendering the entire ui which makes it quite performant it has one way binding so you can pass the data from parent to child only i know there are ways to pass data from child to parent also but that is not recommended so one way binding makes uh, debugging really easy so the developer can uh, actually debug it uh, very easy because the data is uh, flow data flows in the one direction then in react everything is a component so if we take an example of uh, let's say flipkart then we can break flipkart into multiple components uh, we can have a button component a search bar component a uh, image section component and the good thing is all these components can be reused and it is easy to learn and one another great thing about uh, react is it uses jsx so which is uh html like syntax so anyone who knows html and javascript can easily write this jsx so these are the things which makes it react really popular okay tell me what folder structure you have used in your projects okay so the folder structure in src folder i like to create multiple folders uh, like container components store helpers some config or maybe some hooks and all uh if i talk about these folders individually then inside store i like to I like to write redux logic here so one folder for action one folder for re, uh, reducers right and then some middleware connections and all inside the hook uh, we can write some custom hooks or whatever uh, we want to do with hooks we can do in the hooks and in helpers we might create some reusable methods for example if there is a uh, requirement to send an email to user so we can so instead of writing the logic again and again uh, uh, in the components where it is required we can write that logic in the helper component and wherever it is required we can just import it from helpers file and we can use the send email functionality and in the container i like to store the uh, files which know about the state and which can access the data from redux and in the components i like to store the files which are just uh, presentational basically the dumb components and then we can also have some test files inside you know parallel to the uh, file itself so if we have file a.js then we can have a.test parallel to it then we can have some styles as well parallel to these files so this is the structure which i have used and uh, what is react fragment react fragment uh, we can say they are just empty tags so if we have multiple children in the uh, render method of any component we can wrap those child component into a single uh, react fragment if you don't use react fragment then react will throw an error that it requires a parent because react can in the return method of react we can have a single element only so to accomplish that we can use react fragment nice and differentiate to state and props state is mutable whereas props are immutable uh, state can be used for rendering dynamic changes within the component so we can have a component uh, at the top we can store the state whereas props are used to communicate between between the components so if we want to pass some data from component a to b we can pass that using props now stateless 
uh, stateless components cannot have state, whereas stateless component can have probes. Uh, probes, uh, the, the major use uh, of probes is it makes the component reusable. So if you have a button component and we pass a probe to it, let's say a variant, then by using that variant probe, uh, we can write some custom logic inside the button component. And uh, now whenever required, we can uh, pass, just pass the variant name, maybe primary, secondary, and our button will look different. So that's how it makes it reusable. Whereas state cannot make component reusable. Uh, state holds information about the component, whereas probes allows you to pass data from one component to another. Okay, Rahul. Tell me, have you used hooks? Uh, yes, I have used hooks. Okay. Differentiate use memo and use context. Use memo and use context. They are kind of similar. There is only one difference which I see. Uh, use memo is used to, uh, you know, avoid some complex uh, calculations again and again, again and again. So if you write some logic inside the use memo and uh, pass a, a de dependency array to it. And next time, whenever we uh, need to calculate the data, that logic, then instead of recalculating it, use memo will return the previously computed value. So basically it memoized the uh, previously computed value instead of recalculating again and again, right? That's why it is, uh, because it memoized the data, that's why it is called use memo. Whereas use callback avoids the re-rendering uh, of the child component. How, let's say we have, uh, you know, a method in the parent component and uh, in the child component, we are passing that method as a probe uh, to the child component. Now, uh, every time your parent component re-renders, uh, by default, React creates a new instance of that uh, callback, which is passed to the child. But using uh, use callback, uh, this can be avoided because uh, use callback uh, does not let React create a new instance every time unless it is really required. So basically, both of these hooks are uh, there to perform uh, to help react in performing well and fast. Okay. What is Redux and how it works? Redux is used to uh, manage the state at the top level. So uh, it has a single store which knows a lot about your application. It can store a lot of states of your application at the top of uh, basically your application and now if any component uh, want to read that state from that store, uh, the connection can be created between the component and the store. And uh, the good thing about uh, Redux is it uh, has a very clear flow. Uh, it has action and reducer. Actions are basically whenever uh, a user performs some event, let's say they click on a button, uh, then in the action, the action type and a payload is sent. And then there is a reducer with a switch uh, case, which watches for that uh, specific type of action. And whenever it gets the payload, uh, it performs some logic and updates the store, right? And th there is also this Redux uh, developer tools. By uh, using that, uh, we can, you know, uh, debug the Redux application really easily because we can clearly see that, okay, this section has been called and this has made this change to our application. So we can see the entire store in this Redux dev tool. And have you used TypeScript? Yes, I have used TypeScript, but not much. I have the basic knowledge of TypeScript. Okay, so what is the difference between type and interface? Uh, since I have worked very less with TypeScript, I can, uh, give, I think, one or two differences only. Uh, one thing is TypeScript and interfaces are quite similar. Both are used to define the object shapes and uh, the function declarations. Uh, so interfaces are basically a way to describe data shapes. 
for example an object and uh, whereas type uh, is used to uh, define unions tuples intersections etc and there uh, what other difference i can think of is the syntax is also different a interface uh, is like interface keyword and then the name and then the object inside that we have key value uh, value key is anything and value is the type whereas uh, in the type we can use that equal to sign that 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 say type this is equal to something something and that is what i can think of now right now okay nice 